Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is Gotcha by 25th Century Games, designed by Jason Levine. Plays two to six players, takes roughly about 30 minutes to play, and is for ages seven and up. And in the game Gotcha, you are attempting to pull on a gotcha machine. One of those machines that you put a quarter in and you turn, and then you pop out one of these little pawns, these little capsules, and you want to get what you want to get. Uh, this game plays similar to games like Point Salad, where you're going to have your objective cards, cards you're trying to seek out, and your value cards, cards you're trying to gain to gain these objectives. Uh, you're going to have two different actions in the game, gather these cards, or gather one of these cards, and you'll pass. And you'll just keep going along throughout the game, up until one of the many things happens. Whenever you can't make a deck from here, whenever all of your objective cards run out, or whenever the last bonus token is taken. Will you score the most points in this gotcha loving game? Find out as I explain how to play, and of course, the setup for the game, and then my review. The setup for the game is quite simple. The first thing you will do is you will shuffle all of the pawn cards. These are the capsule cards you're already beginning in the game uh, as you attempt to gather the objective cards. Shuffle them and place them into four decks, and make them as even as possible. It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be exact, just something similar to each other. Then you will take your objective cards, you will shuffle these guys up, and then you are going to place them down next to the piles of your gotcha cards and you will deal out four, one underneath each of the decks. Finally, you are then going to take your points, your bonus tokens, and based on the number of players, you'll place them down face down underneath your objective cards. Uh, this is a four player game, so I have eight. However, if you're playing with more players, let's say that you're playing with five players, you'll add these cards to your objective pool. And if you are playing with six, you will add these as well to the objective pool. Additionally, this can change the bonus tokens underneath your objectives based on the number of players as well. Otherwise, though, this is how you set it up. It's pretty simple. Well, go ahead and get started. Playing the game is quite simple. There are two actions, and you can take one of those actions, and then you will pass. And you'll just continue doing this up until the point where one of the three end game conditions are triggered. So the first action of the game is to take any one of these gotcha cards, uh, and then you can take another. So you'll be taking two, and they can be from any one stack or any of the four stacks. I will take one from here and one from here, and I will put them into my hand. If I do this, my turn is over and my turn will pass to the next player. The next action that you can take is you can trade in your cards here for any of the objective cards here, providing that you match the requirements. So in this case here, it's three of a kind, three of a kind, a robot, a turn up, or sushi, or two robots. Hey, look here, I've got two robots. I can turn these cards in, and then I can take this double robot card and place it in front of me. Whenever I turn in, I will reveal a new objective card and place it down under the deck that it was taken from. And then, once again, pass. And you'll just keep doing that throughout the game. And that's all you do. That's as simple as it gets. There are a couple caveats. Caveat number one is for these decks here. On the back of your gotcha decks, you're going to see different types of gotchas here on the back inside the machine. This will indicate which one of these is going to be on the front side of the card. So this is a robot, a kitty, or kind of a little furry gal. <laughs> and when you flip this card over, you'll see that it is a robot. So it will never be a sushi or a turnip. And so you can kind of pre-plan what cards you want based on what's available here. So there's a little bit of chance and a little bit of control as far as the cards that you get. The next thing is you're going to be looking at the objective cards. All the objective cards have a point value, and some of them only have a point value. For other ones, there's going to be a ticket value. Some of them can be a rainbow ticket, or blue, or yellow, or red. When you get two of these cards that have tickets, you can turn them in for a bonus token. If when you turn in your tickets, your top half and your bottom half, they have the same color or they're wild, then you will also get to take one of these gotcha cards into your hand as well. So there's a way for you to gain these bonus tokens. Bonus tokens have three different backings on them. One is it'll let you take an extra turn if you have an arrow. The other is two little gotcha balls. They count as two wild resources for your objectives here, which is really nice. And the next one is three victory points. You'll save at the end of the game, and if you have the most, you will win with them. And that's how you play the game. Take turns, go around and around and around until these decks can no longer form four decks. You run out of your objective cards or you run out of your bonus tokens, in which case basically everybody will get an extra turn after the player and not the player who ended the game. And whoever has the most points wins. You'll check your to total points here 
You'll also check to see if any of your bonus tokens have victory points. And finally, for each of the gacha cards in your hand, you will score one point regardless of what card it is. Whoever has the most points is the winner of the game, gotcha. Okay, we can talk about how to play the game. I have my review of the game now. Are you ready? Gotcha is a quick, simple, easy to learn, easy to master type of a game. Uh, there are some unique twists to it. What type of bonus tokens you get, what cards you try to go for for your objectives, what cards you want based on the objectives from the top of each of these decks here. Uh, there's never gonna be an empty uh, stack here. Whenever a deck stack runs out, you're simply going to take and place new cards down, but always leaving the top card up until you no longer can make four decks. So just like Point Salad, these decks are gonna be like interchangeable to a certain extent. And as they run out, you're gonna refill them with other decks. So it's not just once one deck is removed, that's it. It'll actually be continuous until it's literally impossible, which is the least likely thing to happen. Uh, your objectives range in point value anywhere from 12 points all the way down to like three or two points. And some of them are pretty challenging to get. Some are just three different variations of cards or four variations. Some of them require a two of a kind and a three of a kind, but will score you big points, but you won't get a ticket. And others are gonna be in a range from like two to six points that will also give you a type of ticket. And you always want to try and get cards that have the same ticket color, just because you want these bonus tokens. They can be very useful. Three extra points on top of a six pointer here, bam, nine points. That can get you ahead quite quickly in the game. It's a way of kind of counterbalancing the cards that give you a lot of value for a lot of cards. Uh, this is a game based on the Japanese uh, machines, the little gumball machines that we have here in the States. This one over there, they have like toys and video games and all kinds of stuff. And you're always trying to get the, the one that you want. It's very, very popular in Japan. Um, there, uh, what I also found out too when researching this game, because I said Gacha, I'm like, isn't it Gacha with a C and not an S? Well, it turns out they're actually interchangeable. They're onomatopoeic and just said how, however you want to say it, I guess. Um, and there are machines, which is usually Gacha Pawn, because Pawn refers to the little capsule. And then Gacha is just what you get afterwards. I, yeah, interesting. I didn't know that. I've only heard of the Gacha games, which are from like mobile games that I have played quite profusely of. In fact, I actually have a game to review based on a gotcha system as well, but in video game, the video game type. Uh, this game is, like I said, light and sweet and simple and fun. It's got cute little gotcha items on it. This is going to appeal to certain people who really like the gotcha uh, mechanic that is like very, very popular. Um, it's also going to appeal to you set collecting type players. This game feels a lot like Point Salad. It plays a little differently and there's some unique little twists to it. You're not going to be saving these objective cards um, like you would over time as you collect value. Instead, you'll just turn in your cards and you'll just get the value and then you know you've got it and you'll move on up until one of the, the different endings happens. Uh, the bonus tokens are also a unique little twist as well. Uh, and it does, it does play very well. It's one of those games where I would probably, um, I would probably recommend it to anybody who likes light set collection games, who likes point salad type games, anybody who likes the gotcha system and enjoys that kind of pulling and seeing what you're gonna get. Cause there is, that's the most probably exciting aspect for the game to me is I really need this robot. There's only one of three things it can be. Hopefully I get it and I flip and there's my robot, nice. But maybe if I really need a ro robot, I would actually take this one instead. But there's only two, so that's even more likely, 50-50. And I'll flip it, ah, uh, I didn't get it. And so you feel that kind of like tension in the game. It feels like pulling one of those machines and hoping that you get what you want. And sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. And that's pretty much, it does exactly what it sets out to do. Now, of course, uh, it's, it's lighter on the replayability than a game like Point Salad. There's less objectives and less objective types that you're trying to go for. I mean, realistically, it's either pairs or different types. And that's really what you're going for. So the main aspect is gonna be in these cards and getting what you need. And uh, the fact that there are all the little bonus tokens is a nice little twit, a nice little touch. Uh, the replayability is lower than those type of games though. So, you know, I would play this game pretty much whenever asked. I feel like it's very good for younger families, uh, people just getting into gaming, gateway gaming that plays for those exploding kitten type players and does a good job of all of that. So yes, Gotcha is a really fun little game. It's cute. It was a little educational for me to learn about this, uh, how Gacha and Gacha work. And I recommend this game. It's a lot of fun. Now, would I play it all the time? No, 
but that doesn't mean it's not a great game. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Gotcha. If you're looking for this game, there's a link down below in the description with 25th Century Games. It's been a while since I've reviewed one of their games. That's pretty cool. Pretty excited to see what they come out with next. Uh, you can also check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. We also have a live stream every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST. You can watch us play games literally just like this one. In fact, this would make for a very great live stream game because it's straight, simple, straightforward. People understand what's going on. Um, and then, of course, we have Zero Day, my game, coming out soon-ish. I've got my last little pieces I'm working on, some miniatures. You can check out the artwork on our Discord and our Patreon. If you're interested, there are links down below. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. Oh, oh, don't forget, subscribe. If you watch more than one of our videos, if this is our, say, your second video, third video, fourth video, maybe, maybe we've earned your subscription and if so, we would greatly appreciate it. It costs you nothing and it gives us everything. All right, now, thanks for watching. And as always, I look forward to pulling my favorite gotcha with you next time.